Hi again, today the Crafty Secrets design team will be posting projects we made using Crafty Secrets new CD that's shown here, so let's get started. In this picture I wanted to show you the original background on the CD, but this color didn't work for my project today at all. So I went into my photo editing program and used the hue and saturation and changed the color to what I wanted. Pretty cool, huh? Now my background is perfect for this project, and the image is from the CD too. I did let the image sit for a while before I started coloring with my Prismacolor pencils. Then I cut around the image edge and distressed the two card layers with my Distress It All. Before I forget, all the supplies I used on this project are listed at the end of this video. Here's the Rose Creations and Spiral Blossom One Die I used to create my flowers for this project, using more paper from the CD. Then I distressed the spiral flower along the bottom edge with old paper Distress Ink and cut them into two separate pieces. Then roll your flowers starting from the outside towards the center and place them on a glue dot. You can use a quick drying glue or whatever you have, but I like the 3D glue dots. And I have many different tools to roll my flower with, but the one shown here is a quilling tool. After you have your flowers secure, I roll the edges down using the quilling tool because these flowers are so small and it worked just great. But if you like the original flower, you can leave it that way too. Using the classic petal edgeabilities and my score buddy, I wanted to create a small embellishment for the front of my card. Then I used the tiny attacher and stapled on each side because the base of this is so thick. Because this piece is so small, I had a hard time keeping it open. So on the wrong side, I used some dimensionals and my tweezers and pushed in the groove as far as I could. And so far it's working. Here I'm just placing what I have so far to see if it's all working or if I need something else or take something away. And at this point, I think I like it. But I needed some ribbon, lots of ribbon, and I wanted it to match my cardstock. So I grabbed some glimmer mist and started with my lightest color, placed my ribbon on a paper towel and started spraying until I reached the color I wanted. Then I rolled it up in a ball inside the paper towel and started drying it with my heating tool. This is much faster for me, but be careful with the heating tool on the paper towel. It can get really hot. So I'll put most of this project together and be back in a few seconds. I stopped here because I wanted to talk about how I attached the ribbon. Every here and there I used glossy accents and my tweezers and went around the entire image. This way I know the ribbon is secure on my project. <laughs> of course we had to have glitter. When I finished my card I noticed the silver brads really stood out. So I used this pearl pen and made a soft 3D pearl on top of each brad. I have another project coming up where I use this product a lot. I love this stuff. And that's it. Here's my finished project. I had fun sharing this with you today. And as always, I have lots more pictures to follow. So until next time, bye now. <laughs> <laughs>